Hi, I'm Michelle from Pure Electric. Today we're going to be looking at the Turn GSD cargo bike. I'll be giving you my first impressions, as well as telling you why I think cargo bikes, and especially e-cargo bikes, are game changers for our cities. If you're interested in micromobility, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. So first up, why would you want an electric cargo bike? Well, cars and trucks don't just cause pollution, they cause another problem for our cities, the amount of space they take up. We need to use it wisely, which is why it's so great to see electric cargo bikes being used for deliveries around the world by both big and small companies. This means they're now seen by many as the best solution to what is known as last mile delivery. And as we're talking about delivery, it's worth noting they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and can haul a surprising amount, some up to 350 kilos. But crucially, they can go places vans can't. For families, electric cargo bikes are great for the school run. On my commute in Bristol, I regularly see a man transporting five kids with his, and they're always having a great time. So that's what I think makes them so useful. Now let's take a look at this particular model. First up, the Turn GSD is a compact two-wheel cargo bike, making the wheelbase very similar to a normal bike. This is important as it makes it more agile than the traditional long wheelbase or three-wheel cargo bikes. As someone with many bikes, I'm always trying to find space for one more. So another cool feature is the handlebars and saddle easily collapse using quick release levers, making storing this bike easier. Surprisingly, it only comes in one size, but riders from 150 to 195 centimeters tall can ride this bike due to the aforementioned adjustability. So, at my house, both my husband and I can both haul the groceries home on the GSD. But best of all, it's electric, which makes hauling whatever or whoever a breeze. But don't let the turn small size deceive you. This particular model can handle up to 200 kilograms. I'd love to show you how well it transports people, but we're still social distancing. So for now, that'll have to wait. Now onto the motor. This particular bike uses a mid-drive style Bosch Perform motor located in the bottom bracket. From there, power is transferred through the chain to the rear wheel, which has a 10-speed cassette to help you get up those hills. And living in Bristol, where there are loads of hills, this comes in really handy. The motor uses a combination of how fast you're pedaling, your cadence, and how hard you pedal, your torque, to determine the level of assist that you need. So the harder you pedal, the more power you get. There are four assist modes, from eco to turbo. Eco will give you less power, but give you more range. In turbo mode, you'll get lots of assist, but as you'd expect, less range. An interesting feature is the walking mode, which makes things easier should you have to push the bike. And changing modes is really easy using the simple controller found on the handlebars. But enough of the technical stuff. What we all want to know is how this bike rides. After taking the turn for a ride, the first thing I noticed was how super cushy it is. Those 62 mil Schwab tires are very supple. And even at top speed, those high volume tires insulated me from lumps and bumps in the road. Even at those slow starting speeds, the bike still felt stable. This could be down to the fact that the batteries and motor are located low down, giving the bike a lower center of gravity. Turn have made this bike with safety as a priority, and it shows. The stopping power is impressive. The brakes are hydraulic disc brakes and use two pistons, giving reliable stopping power in all weather and no matter how much you're carrying. Due to its popularity, we've only had the GSD for a short time. If I had it for longer though, I'd have taken it up some really big hills, loaded it up, maybe taken my husband for a ride to really see what this bike can do. But hopefully, this won't be the last ride for me. You may see me taking it out on tour or doing some delivery runs in the future. So could this bike be a genuine car replacement? I think so. Many concerns people have regarding giving up their car, such as how they would do their family shop, carry their tools, or transport their kids, are all easily managed with this bike. And due to its relatively small size, finding a place to park it shouldn't be an issue. Starting from 4,000 pounds, the Turn GSD may seem expensive at first, but unlike a car, that's pretty much it. You don't have to worry about paying for MOTs, insurance, petrol, parking, or VED. And when the bike does need maintenance, like a new chain or tire, it's more affordable than a car. But what do you think? Do you have a use for a cargo bike in your life? 
And if you had something like the GSD, would you give up your car? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, until next time.